Hello, welcome back boys and girls. Thank you for joining us again today. Now we have a wonderful story for you. Today's book is called Paca the Penguin Goes on Vacation, written by Michael Percy. Now this wonderful story is about a cute little penguin who goes on a wild adventure. Now let's see what happens. Let's get started. In a big white frozen land beneath a big blue sky lives a black and white penguin with a twinkle in his eye. He's a happy kind of fellow with a solitary wish that he never gets too cold and has a freezer full of fish. Now he also dreams of lounging on Caribbean shores someday with fruity drinks and warm white sands and his cares all washed away. Neil, the now on newsboy is here and Parker's turning blue. Now winter's around the corner and a nasty shark is too. <coughs> Sheesh, <coughs> says Parker. Way too cold. It's time for me to run. The Caribbean's calling me with sand and sea and sun. <coughs> Some card, Whoa. sardines, a change of clothes, and char, and mackerel too, and herring, and a book should be enough to see me through. So he grabs his trusty whore, which once he rescued from a boat, and then he <laughs> yanks and twists and clenches fists. And then he sets himself afloat. He highland ups up north and waves his friends off, big and bold. And then he hollers, It's vacation time for me! Enjoy the cold! Now when Parker's wandered further north than north will let him wander, he looks out at the ocean and then he has a good old ponder. <sighs> Atlantic Ocean? Well now he's really started on his tour. North or east or up? or south, or down, or west, or through. Now Parker's sure of one thing, staring wise, he's not a clue. <sighs> oh, hello Stingray, hello Flying Fish, what a delight. I think I took a few wrong turns. Can you not set me right? We can help. Now four days later, the eyes beneath poor Parker's feet becomes too small to stand. And a great relief when all his friends together shout out, <laughs> land. <laughs> Galapagos? I'm very lost, says Parker, quite bemused. I have gone 5,000 miles. <laughs> of course, this has been quite the cruise. How hard, how strange, how marvelous, bizarre, exotic, beast. Well, I'd love to stay and chat, but oh, I've got to head out east. 
Oh, oh, oh. This and the boat shall see me float on course for where I am due. Farewell, Galapagos friends. I'm off to see Peru. Bye bye. Oh, pirates! What a nice surprise. Yo ho, Abast. Ye salty. I wonder, could I use your ship? This one is, huh? It's faulty. Oh. Now Pirate Penguin Parker's pushing on towards Peru. He sees the shape of Lima looming up across the blue. What a wondrous city. What a splendid place to be. Now Parker loves it here, but he still has many sights to see. So this is Machu Picchu. Yeah, I guess it's pretty neat. But there should be an escalator. Huh? My penguin feet. A stroll across the Amazon, a great way to spend the morning. But I wish that this pesky box would give me just a bit more warning. One thing I must make sure that I remember in my notes that when traveling around like this, you use a lot of boats. Hey, that's our boat. <laughs> Venezuela, getting close. Caribbean shores are near. This waterfall is lovely though. I'll have a quick snack here. It's island up in once again, but now in warmer climes, and Packers in his paradise for hot vacation times. A fruity drink, some jazzy shades, and miles of warm white sands, and Packers feeling right at home in wild exotic lands. The end. What a wild adventure. Thank you for joining us again, boys and girls, for this wonderful story. Thank you for being here. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to our YouTube channel. We'll see you soon.